I'm Ken Gully. I'm a Pelly rat. <laughs> I've known Pat for, I don't know, nearly 70 years, I guess. Uh, his younger brother, Wiley, and I graduated at the same time from Robert E. Lee High School in Baytown in 1962. We were two years behind Pat, and uh, I got to know Pat real well in Lee Junior College, and uh, we became very good friends and have been friends ever since. Uh, matter of fact, Pat and I were living together with uh, Osborne down in Beaumont, Texas, uh, I was going to Lamar Tech. Pat and Osborne were enrolled. <laughs> I had to go to class because the Army was on my butt. <laughs> I could either go to class or go to Vietnam. I wound up going to class. <coughs> Pat was one why. I won't tell you why. <laughs> and Osborne was one why because he was too fat. <laughs> but uh, uh, we were living together, and uh, when I met and married my wife, Donna, who was teaching school over in Port, Ar uh, Port Arthur at the time. And uh, I could tell you stories about Pat that would uh, make you laugh from here to high water, but some of them I can't repeat. Uh, but uh, one that comes into mind was particularly funny, and I think Janet might remember this one. <clears throat> we were about four couples of us were going to Mexico in uh, my van, and I don't remember the couples, uh, but. Uh, Rod, Rod, Rod and his wife. Uh, Rod and. It was his, well, we went to his place. Okay. He had, he no, no, we went, to, no, we, this was a border trip. Oh. Yeah, this was a border <laughs> trip. <laughs> and uh, anyway, <clears throat> all the girls were sitting in the back. I had four captain's chairs and a sofa bed in the back of this thing. We were drinking beer and margaritas and tequila and everything else. And we're out in the middle of nowhere, somewhere between here and Laredo. And one of the ladies says, I got to go to the restroom. Pat said, there is no restroom for the next 50 or 60 miles. And I said, I can't wait that long. He said, well, just pull over on the side of the road. Well, we pulled the van over on the side of the road. Pat said, get out. She said, okay. So she got out and she was squatting beside the side of the road. Pat just drove off. <laughs> <laughs> Pat did not like women. <laughs> the, the only only woman that he would play golf with that I am aware of is my wife. And uh, she's a pretty good little golfer. Matter of fact, she had a hole in one and Pat had to call her and tell her he had made two more. <laughs> but uh, Pat was a, one of the best golfers that I ever played with. And uh, we bought a home in uh, Rio Dosa, New Mexico, oh, 24, 25 years ago, I guess. And Pat and uh, Kay would come out to visit us. And Pat, the first time he was there, uh, I played golf at the Lynx of Sierra Blanca golf course. And it's a really nice, nice golf course. And Pat had never seen the golf course. Went out the first day and he shot a 72. That never had seen the golf course. Well, uh, the next time he was out, I took him up to Albuquerque and we played a little course. And Tom, you've probably heard of this one, Paco Ridge. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> well, I don't think Pat broke 90 and he didn't quit cussing for about three hours. <laughs> <laughs> it, it's a pretty tough golf course. But Pat, Pat was a, a great friend and, uh, you know, uh, I always said, you know, you can, you can get a get a, a friend or a relative to come uh, bail you out of jail, but uh, Pat was the kind of friend that'd be sitting right beside you, saying, "Damn, that was fun." <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.